Hello everybody, this is Sketch, and I'm back with another video series. It's gonna be a virtual pet update series where basically every day I'll check in and tell you what's going on with my virtual pets. The two that I'm gonna, going to start running is the Digimon 20th Anniversary Japanese and the Digimon 20th Anniversary English. The English one is new, released kind of like within this month. The Japanese one is old, and it's like two years old. They finally made an English version, and it took like... Actually, I, two years old for me. I bought it two years ago, but I'm pretty sure it's a four-year-old one, even. So it really isn't the 20th anniversary anymore. I've already put the battery inside of the Japanese one. It... I've got two dead Digimon right now. I was raising it for a bit there, but I took a break from it. And I'm coming back now that they've released the new English one. I did not get that far in it. But I'm going to start opening up the English one. It slides out here. I got the blue one. That was the only one left in stock at the EB Games. But it's a pretty cool color. Um, it's kind of like a better version of the gray from the original Digimon English. Now, there's like a little black sleeve back there and instructions in the back, but I don't really want to go back there to get them. I'll just show you the Japanese instructions here. The Japanese instructions come in this little sleeve. I don't think I've even opened these instructions, but you see their instructions. They're not that exciting. It doesn't really tell you much. Um, but anyways, Japanese one's packaging. I'm going to go and put on my shelf quickly here. Now, it's time to take the English one out of its protective case. Oh, this is going to be my first time touching this. Oh, it's so fancy. I got this from EB Games. There's the pull tab. You pull that out and it comes to life. Alright, first off, oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever held two... Digimons in my hands at the same time. These are the virtual pets. They're based off of the um, original ones that were released in the late 90s. And there were five original ones, and all five of those are inside of there. Now I'm going to put this little plastic thing back on. It's plasticed up. Now I'm going to put that back inside of the case. And that's the case. <laughs> That's the case when it's got it out of the thing. Now I've got myself two digi- Oh wait! I just realized I'm gonna need to put the thing, the pull tab away inside of there anyways. Alright. Well, I'm gonna get the time up on this one here. Because I'm gonna need the time. It's 12.06 right now is what it says. It's gonna be 12.07 soon. I'm, I want to get my time as precise with it as possible. I've already done the time on that one. Ooh, it's pull time. Pull tab. Three, two, one. Oh, it doesn't want to come. Um, ooh. That's a nice crunch. Digimon 20th. Name. Oh, I gotta put my name in. I'm gonna put that in. <laughs> they don't even let... There isn't enough room for my full name. It's just... Enough letters for four. There's four letters, so I'll just have to do like the beginning of my name, kind of. Alright. Okay. Time set. This is the important part. Time on here is 12.08 in the p.m. Time on here, I'll get that the same thing. 12.08. Eight. I'll get that to 12.09, and the second it is finished, I will press the next one. I want to get this exact. 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. There we go. This should be the same time. Alright, so this one actually, it just makes you have the first starter egg. Gives you, makes you, when you start it up, it's going to make you do the first one. So, I guess on this one, I'll start raising the second, the third egg. How 
how does one raise the third egg? Oh, there we go. All right. So the first egg is the this little Yoshi egg thing. Second egg is this one here, the lines. And the third egg is going to be this one. This is the one I'm going to start raising. All right. That's two eggs. Now if I were on the if I were on the pedometer pet, I'd be shaking it right now, but I don't need to do that because I'm not doing a pendulum. All right, it needs to be fed. It's hungry. Its name is Bodamon. All right. So, it's hungry and it needs to be trained. So, I'm going to feed it four meats. It's a very nice eating animation. As you can obviously tell. How many meats was that? That was two. All right. Three. Four. All right, now it's going to need to be trained. So, the training, as far as I can tell, is you just mash the button. Training isn't much, it's just that, and you gotta do that four times, I'm pretty sure. Uh oh, my other one's going now. Alright, um. I got this ghost guy on this one. And it's Japanese on this side, oh my gosh. Alright, I'm gonna start feeding it on this one. Training on the right side, feeding on the left. How many meat have I fed the Japanese one? That's three meat, one more for the Japanese one, and then I'll start training him. Alright, I'll start training this one. I think the right side might be ready, f might like be fully strength. Yep, strength is full. Alright. Now this left side here. <laughs> What's, what's his strength at? Alright, it's at two. Alright, I just needed two more fights or training things with this one. It's an epic moment. Alright. Now, one more training session with him. Alright, so basically the plan is I'm going to try and get the best Digimon for each egg. There are five eggs. I'm going to be doing the first four. So two on this one, and then two on this one. And then when they get to their final forms, I'll, I can connect them like this. Oh my gosh, this is going to be my first time ever connecting with two Digivices. It's not going to actually do anything, because I'm not initiating anything. But as you can see, they connect like that. They've got little prongs. And... They will then, you can make them fight, and I guess that's basically it. You just watch your giant beast fight. Uh-oh, he pooped. All right, I'm going to clean up his poo. And his strength is already down, and so did this one poo. This one also pooed. All right, so you can take care of a second one. There's a second slot. The second slot only opens up tomorrow on the one that I started today. I can start the slot, second slot today on this one, but I don't really want to. I don't think that's something I'm going to want to do. Whoops. So, I'm going to feed him one meat there. It's alright that I dropped him because I've got a blanket kind of thing here, so. Anyways, you can see here, I've got my two pets. They're babies right now. I'm going to wait until they turn into an adult and I'll check back in here. All right, I just wanted to check in right now. Um, the They both just evolved. I've got a Coromon and whatever this is. Um, I'm not exactly sure right now. This is the guy that I just got. Wait, he's doing a training thing here. Um, and a Coromon. So tomorrow they're going to evolve into their next stage. Coromon is hopefully going to evolve into Agumon. If I don't have too, any care mistakes. I don't have any care mistakes yet. Care mistakes basically is when you do something bad. Like it says, I'm hungry and you don't feed it. Or if it says, 
there's poop all over me and you don't clean it or basically just doing something stupid and that can happen for one of two reasons either you don't hear it beeping at you or you're not around and hopefully that doesn't happen to me but you I think you get like two like freebies like you can have two or less scare mistakes and you'll still get the best one um, and anyways let me hold them both here I've got the Coromon and whatever this one is. Wait, let me see. Can I open, get the other one on here yet? No, I can't. I don't think. Wait. Yeah, no. Alright. So tomorrow, when this one evolves into Agumon, hopefully, and this one evolves into whatever he's going to evolve into, I'm not sure yet. I'll, I'll take a Google and make sure I hatch the right egg. But anyways, I'm going to clean up his poop here. I'm going to keep these things healthy and fed and not poop on them. Uh-oh, I mooted it. All right, yes, you can moot this. So if you're trying to take this somewhere that you'll get screamed at if you have a beeping thing. And we all know you're going to be taking this somewhere that you're going to be screamed at, so... You're gonna have to mute it, and you can do that by pressing the top button and the bottom button at the same time. Um, yeah, these are really cool. <laughs> Wait, can they fight yet? Let me see. No, they cannot. I mean, I kind of knew that, because I'm a Digimon master, but no, they cannot fight right now, because they're in their baby stage, child stage. I made an error last time when I signed off there. It's not adult, it's child. They're child children right now. No, they're not yet children. So you've got baby, which was what we saw there when they were a Bodamon. This one was a Bodamon. I'm not sure what this one was. Now he's a Koromon, and that's the child stage. Then he's going to turn into, hopefully, Agumon, or like, I'm not sure what else you can get, but I know Koromon in the TV show, he evolves into Agumon. And then, like, every Digimon can and evolves into Agumon. But in virtual pets, like the V-pets themselves, that's not really a consistent thing. They could evolve into whatever they want to evolve into. Or, I guess, whatever you want them to evolve into, depending on how you take care of them. I'm hoping to get the best ones on both of these, and then I'm going to try and unlock the special eggs. Special eggs are unlocked by doing 50 battles and 100 battles. So I'll just do 100 battles on this one and this one. I'm basically just going to complete the tag tournament and the singles tournament. It doesn't really give you anything, like I did on the pendulum in one of my other videos. It does give you secret eggs in the pendulum. On this one, all you need to do is just fight 100 battles. So you could just fight the first battle 100 times and lose every single time, and you'll still get the secret egg. So, that's the end of the video. I'm going to make sure these things don't die. Um, they're hungry, and they need food. So let's feed them at the same time now and watch them eat. Oh my gosh, wait, I just realized something. English version's got pictures, and the Japanese one is words. What is this? This is not fair. I think, like, I've been playing with this thing for more than long enough to deserve pictures in my Japanese version and the English version. Well, anyways, this is them fighting and doing the wall break thing. Their training is they break a bunch of walls. They have an endless supply of walls, and they break them all the time. Now, this is the end of the video. It's too long now. I think it's 15 minutes, but I mean, you watched it. Hopefully you watched it or you skipped to the end to hear me say this, but goodbye. This is the end of the video.